They're coming to the quarter pole. Future prospect ahead in front. Decisive moment toward the inside is fighting on from second. Why stand third? And Mission Impossible behind that trio is fourth. And under urging now from Castellano, a quarter mile out, still four lengths off the lead of Wise Dan, who moves by for the top spot. Coming to the eighth pole, the rest have running to do. Eight too fast to catch. Comes out of a crowd into the second spot. Three lengths off the lead of Wise Dan. Final furlong of the Fayette Stakes. Wise Dan, Julianne Leperu looking for win number four on the card. And Wise Dan will make a shambles of the Fayette field. It is all Wise Dan. I owe you big time. We'll rally late for second. Working for Hopscott third in one minute, 48 and three-fifths seconds. What a performance by Wise Dan. One year ago in the Fayette Stakes, owner Morton Fink, trainer Charles Lopresti, and jockey Julian Leperu were the winners with successful Dan. And this year they take the Fayette with his half-brother, Wise Dan. Number eight, Wise Dan, taking the featured ninth race, the grade two Fayette. This four-year-old gelded son of Wiseman's Ferry, bred in Kentucky by owner Mort Fink. The results are official. One minute, 48 and three-fifths seconds the time for the nine furlongs over the poly track and the trophy presentation upcoming. Presenting the trophy for today's ninth race feature is one of Keeneland's longest serving employees, Ricky Brown. Ricky works for outside maintenance and has been part of the Keeneland family for 34 years. And Ricky makes the trophy presentation to the connections of Wise Dan. Wise Dan romps in the Fayette, ridden by Julian Le Peru, trained by Charlie Lopresti. Talk to Julian first. First of all, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on winning another riding title here. And uh, tell us about Wise Dan. He was very impressive. Yeah, he was very good today. Uh, he relaxed pretty good for me. Usually kind of tough to ride, but, uh, you know, when you relax, he, he does good. When you're hot, you're hot, too. It was your fourth win today. How many wins on the meet? I can, I've lost count. Uh, I think 31 or 32, I think. <laughs> well, congratulations. And, Charlie, just uh, another banner year for you. You had that great year last year. Almost duplicating it again this year. Everything's been great. This horse just ran lights out. Yeah, he really ran good. We had a big question about the mile and eight. That's the thing that we've been afraid of all along. And I just thought that, you know, we got to try it. We got to find out how far he can go. This spring when we tried the Ali Sheba, he wasn't settled and he wasn't at his best then. But uh, he really ran good today. And that's what I wanted to find out, how far he could go and worked out. He looked like he could keep going. You got any plans for this horse now? I mean, uh, where do you go? Well... We were waiting to see what happened today. We're either thinking of the River City or maybe the Clark. Good luck wherever you go, and congratulations on a big effort today. Thank Wise Dan, Charlie Lopresti wins the uh, Fayette, <laughs> grade two Fayette.